How's it going? Today I figured I would go over how to update your Nintendo Switch onto the latest software available whenever you have a firmware chip installed. So as you can see on this one, we have 17.0.1, so it does need to be updated. And on this one, we have 18.0.0. Now, you don't have to update your Nintendo Switch every time there's an update, and you also don't want to update it right away. Normally, you will wait until the patches of Atmosphere, uh, Hecate, and Sigma patches are updated, unless Sigma patches has been updated out, of course. But, a lot of times, games will start to require you to update. So, let's go over how to update. Now, the first method is very simple. On your modded Nintendo Switch, we can simply take it and go over to the photo album. Now, if you use the hats pack or set this up on your own, you should have a little app called AIO Updater. We're going to go ahead and open it. Now, an AIO Updater, as long as you're on the internet, you can update Atmosphere to the 162 or 170 pre-release. We're going to do the 170 and just confirm. Now, it's going to download and install it pretty quickly. Uh, do you want to overwrite the existing? Yes. Would you like to delete all custom sys modules and flags? Um, we're going to say no for that. And then download the Hikate? Yes. Do you want to overwrite existing? Yes. Do you want to copy? Yes. And then we can go back. Now that we're here to the mod chip menu after the reboot, we're going to go ahead and press launch, and we're going to go ahead, go ahead and go over to stock. Now, the reason we're going to do stock first is because you want to update the SD card, update stock, and then update your custom firmware. That way, you don't run into any issues, and everything is just updated in one easy go. Here we are on the main screen. Now, let's just go over to settings, go down to system. As you can see, the stock is on 1701. We're going to go ahead and system update, and update. And now what this is going to do is take it to the update. Just make sure you have it on charge as well so it doesn't die during the update and end up bricking something. Um, but yeah, we'll come back once it's done. Now that we're here, we can actually see, if we go down to system, we can see it is 18.00 and there's no update. Now, let's go ahead and go over to the custom firmware and update it as well. Power options, power off. All right, so here we are back at the main screen of the firmware chip side, the custom firmware. And... As you can see, we are still on 17.0.1. So now we have to update the custom firmware side. Now if you set this up correctly, there should be no link to the Nintendo services. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go back over to AIO Updater. We're going to go down to Firmwares and hit, uh, you can hit one of the two. If Rebootless is available, you can use it, but we don't have Rebootless available yet. So we're just gonna hit firmware.18.0.0 and hit continue. Now it's going to take a little bit of update because it is a third party source. Um, usually good internet will take a little bit. Um, once I show you this, I will show you how to update the SD card files or set up an SD card after this uh, from the computer. But for right now, we're just going to use this method. It is the easiest, the fastest, and uh, the most convenient uh, where you don't have to be changing out SD cards and such. So yeah, we'll come back once it's done. So once everything is done and downloading, this is about after 30 minutes, Yes, it does take a little bit because it's downloading the entire firmware to your Switch. Unlike the Nintendo update, it just sort of downloads it, installs it, and then has you reboot. And usually it doesn't take but a few minutes. Can't take longer with slow internet. But here you can go. It says, all done. Um, seems you have a custom theme. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just do, do you want to take us over to Daybreak? Yes. So now it's going to load into Daybreak. It's already going to load up the everything. It's going to have everything done. Now, this is important, and this is where it could potentially mess up things. You're going to press continue, and you're going to say preserve settings. Now, if you're not sure, then you should absolutely... It keeps unfocusing for some reason. You should absolutely do FAT32 and XFAT. But every switch that I install a firmware chip to or I set up, I always do FAT32. So we're going to do FAT32. And then we'll do continue. It's going to slowly extract everything. And it's going to install the update and then reboot. With it being done, we can go ahead and hit reboot. And it's going to go right back to it. Now, as you can see, we did run into a small error where it just says a fatal error uh, occurred when running atmosphere. 
this program ID is what you're going to need to find and delete. So in this case, we will have to take this uh, SD card out and go ahead and put it in our computer. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that, delete that, and then we'll come back to it. Now, as you can see, after deleting that folder, we can simply come back here. We are on the homebrew firmware chip side, custom firmware. We can go down here and go to system, and there we go. We're at 18.00. And that is how you update your Nintendo Switch without having to completely do anything on the computer. Now, a lot of people will say that you have to do this stuff, you have to download the firmware and all that. AIO is perfect for this, for everything you need. So if you have any more questions, just go ahead and comment down below. Uh, give the like, uh, give the video a like, and give me a subscribe, and thank you so much. Y'all have a good one.